Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the Productivity 1000 series PLC math instructions and in particular we're going to be looking at the data statistics or data and the math editor or math instruction itself. So if we look up on our screen here, I am connected through my Ethernet port of my Productivity 1000 PLC and you can see my Ethernet port located right here. So the first thing we'll do is look at uh, the data statistics or uh, data and if we click on the instruction itself you'll see that I can have 16 different inputs here and then I can specify an output tag so 16 input tags or constants and my output tag and then I have a value here I can do sum, min, max, average, median or, de or standard deviation and what you'll see is that um, in this case here I have six tags here with a tag for the output. So let's say OK. And what I've done here is actually uh, put some uh, values in here, uh, just random values, that will have the sum. Then we'll have the input here which is switch number one. When it turns on it'll do a sum of those numbers and put the DS output. Then on my next rung here we have a switch number two and it will do a min, then we'll do a max with switch 3, and then finally we'll do an average with switch 4. So let's just go back to the top there and for my uh, sum, and so we'll turn on switch number 1 here, and as soon as we do, my output here now contains the value 19,987. So that's exactly what it did, exactly as we expected, is to uh, sum those numbers together. Now the next one here is our minimum number, so of those 16 values. Now these uh, tags can be variables within the program, could be anything that you want. So these are uh, math that you make up and how you want it to react. So let's turn on switch number two and when we do it finds the minimum value in the six variables and it is 85 and that's exactly what happens 85 switch number three is actually my maximum value and before we hit it it should actually be 7853 which is the maximum of those six numbers so let's try that and that's exactly what uh, it's doing so as soon as it's enabled it finds the maximum numbers of those input values and puts it to the output and our last one here of our data statistics is our switch number four, which goes to the average. So this takes the six tags and it will create an average for those six tags and put it to the output. So I'll turn switch four on and the average is 3,331. Then we have, so that's the uh, data statistics. Then we have a math editor. In the math editor, if we just double click it, what you'll see is it just looks like a normal calculator that we can actually generate a formula in here. And we can generate formulas with tags and um, formula entry. So here we, what we have is we had a variable called C degree. In order to get that tag entry in, we hit the tag entry mode and then enter our variable name or we can type it in here and hit insert. Either way we'll do it. Then we have a um, pad here that we can do um, you know the sine, cosine, tangent. Um, we can do the logarithmic invert, uh, square root, we can do pi, um, brackets, so all of your arithmetical variables are there for you to use in your formulas. And what we're doing here is we're going to take a variable or a tag called C degree, which is degrees Celsius, and we're going to convert that into an F degree or Fahrenheit degree uh, tag. And so what we're going to do is take that C degree times it by 1.8 and then add 32 to get us the uh, result in our Fahrenheit degree. So that is our formula itself. Let's say cancel there. And then we have switch number five which will enable that to happen. 
So we'll turn on switch number five. And when we do, our variable that's in C degree becomes 86. Now in order to see that, what we can do is highlight the rung, right click, and then we'll go to monitor data view. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll say create a new tab, hit OK. And now when we go to data view, we will actually see our um, output. Oh, there's my math, there's my switch 5, and my degrees Fahrenheit is 86 and my degrees Celsius is 30. And I can edit that. So let's go to 35 degrees and what energize that and 35 degrees is actually equivalent to 95 degrees Fahrenheit so you can see I can utilize my data view in order to uh, determine what the variable is going to be if it's going to be a cold day we can go um, or colder we go 10 degrees and that's equal to 50 degrees Fahrenheit okay so math and math editor is a very useful file. So let's just close that down. And the other thing we'll do is just take a look at that math in our help file. And our help file contains a lot of different uh, uh, contents. And if we look at the instructions, under the instructions, under the math functions, you'll see the math editor. And under the math editor, what you'll notice is that it will actually go through all of the different formulas and what variables you can go. It also goes through uh, the operations which you can put in your math instruction. Your add, subtract, multiply, divide, um, etc. Absolute value. We have real functions. We have trigonomic, tri trigonomic trick functions. We have radian trig functions. Right? And it also comes up with a little sample. In this case here, they're doing the same thing in, in converting uh, degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. And usually the samples come up with a other sample or a, a ladder rung example as well. So that is the math function. Okay. Now, if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Now, all these links and documentation can be found on the website at accautomation.ca. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.